In this video, we will show you how to use an image block to display images to the user, and how to render the visual trace using a custom action block and a functions block, which can be very useful in some scenarios. Let us get started. On the voice flow canvas, let us drag an image block and drop it on the canvas. We can use the image block to display an image to the user. We can upload an image from the computer by clicking on the browse button. As this is very easy, I will skip this. Next, I will show you how to use an image link to display the image. Click on the link tab, we can enter the URL of the image. Let us go to this website, which shows many beautiful surfing images. Let us pick this image and make a copy of the image address. We simply paste the URL on the box. Now we are ready to run a test. Let us click on the arrow to run a test. As we can see, the surfing image is shown here. We also can see the image preview on the image block. The image block is very easy and straightforward to use. Next, in order to increase the flexibility of the chatbot, you may want to use a variable to store the image URL. Let us drop a set block on the canvas. We will enter the variable URL here. If you have not created a variable, you can do it now. I am going to select the variable from the list. Next, we will paste the image URL in this box. We connect the set block with the image block. In the image block, we delete the image URL and place the variable here. The variable should be wrapped by the curly braces. Let us run a test. However, we do not see the image displaying here. Let us figure out what has gone wrong. If we click the set block, we can see the value is empty. The URL has not been saved because I have forgotten to input quotation marks. Let us do so now. Paste the URL between the quotation marks. Now let us run a test again. This time, we can see the image has been successfully displayed here. Finally, you may wonder what the three dots icon does here. You can click on it, and it shows that you can duplicate or delete the image block. That is all you need to know to use an image block to show images to the user. Next, we will show you how to use a custom action block to act as an image block. Let us go to the developer docs webpage of VoiceFlow. In the trace types, we can find the visual type. The trace type of the image block is visual. The data in the payload is what we need. We select it and make a copy. Back to the voice flow canvas, we drop an action block and rename it as visual trace, because we will use it to work with the visual trace to act as an image block. We enter visual in the title, as this tells the action block to convert the data into an image block. In the action body, we choose the JSON radio button and paste the trace here. We can see the visual type, image URL, dimensions, etc. We will replace the example image URL with ours. In the set block, let us make a copy of the image URL. We will use it to test the visual trace. In the action block, we simply paste the URL to replace the example. Now, we are ready to run a test. Click the arrow, and we can see the image is shown here. As we have already set the URL to the variable in the set block, we can place the variable in the trace instead. Let us delete the URL and enter the variable here wrapped with curly braces. We now connect the set block with the action block. Let us run a test, and the image is successfully displayed. In the following, we are going to show you how to use a functions block to display an image, which returns a visual trace. Let us click the content icon, and then the functions. Here, I have already created a function called image block trace, which is a simple demo to return a visual trace. Let us click on it, and see the function. This is a very simple function. We set a constant variable to save the image URL, and we return the trace with the type of visual. In the payload, we add the image URL variable. Let us run the function. Let us click the execute button, and we see the success status. We can see the trace details with the type, payload, image URL, etc. Now, let us go back to the canvas. On the canvas, we drop a functions block and rename it with visual trace. We select the function with the name of image block trace. We also can see the description of the function. Let us run a quick test. And we can see the image is successfully displayed. In summary, we can use an image block to display images to the user. We can either upload the image from the computer or place the URL of the image in the link box. Further, we can store the URL in a variable. We also have shown how to use a custom action block to act as an image block by placing the trace in the custom action block. We use a variable to save the URL of the image, which gives the bot a big flexibility. We can set the value of the variable using a set block. The last part is to use a functions block to render a function, which simply returns the visual trace to display an image. This can be very useful in some scenarios. 
These three methods to display images are very useful, and you can use them as desired. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.